everyone, my name is Teacher L. In this What Is It video, we are going to describe from where the Earth's internal heat comes. Let's get started! Scientists thought that the internal heat of the Earth comes from two sources, primordial heat and radiogenic heat. All right, primordial heat. This is from the Latin word primordialis, means of the beginning. This is the heat generated from the beginning of time when the earth was formed. Here's the beginning. Five billion years ago, a nebula cloud of gas and rock began to come together by gravity. As it condensed, pieces of debris collided with each other. There was friction. And friction of their collisions heated the rocks. These rocks formed planets. One of those Top planet was our young Earth. Its interior, hot from friction and the decay of radioactive elements. Temperature reached over 25,000 degrees Fahrenheit. It is equivalent to 13,871 degrees Celsius. That is extremely hot. So that's it about primordial heat. All right, the next source of heat is called radiogenic heat. It is actually the radioactivity of some elements found in the Earth's crust. Radiogenic heat is just the heat produced during radioactive decay. What is radioactive decay? Well, the term radioactive, as it implies, there is radiation. An element that is radioactive emits heat. Decay, it is Actually, when an element is unstable, it disintegrates and changes into another element. Okay, here are the most common examples of radioactive elements. Uranium. It is a silvery gray metal in the actinide series of the periodic table. Alright, another example is radium. It is used to produce radon gas, which is typically used to treat several diseases, including cancer. Alright, another example is radon. It is naturally occurring radioactive gas that is odorless and tasteless. It is formed from the radioactive decay of uranium. And now, let us look at the radioactive elements in the periodic table. The image here is the periodic table. You can see the radioactive elements in light blue color. Radioactive elements have no stable isotopes. That is why they disintegrate so that they become stable. And during that process, these substances emit heat. So that ends our discussion on the radioactive decay with the examples of radioactive elements. The summary. We finish the two sources of Earth's internal heat. One is the primordial heat 
And the second one is the radiogenic heat. Thanks for watching.